Now to that breaking news in Largo, a shootout between officers and a woman. Pinellas Bureau reporter Christine McClarty is joining us live right now, and I understand you just got an update from police, Christine? That's right. Just within the last few seconds, actually, we heard that the woman involved in this shooting did pass away. Now, we can tell you that this started more than four hours ago, and it started just on the other side of that overpass, the Bayside Bridge overpass there. And this happened as, as many people were around. Police are still investigating. This morning, uh, the Largo Police Department received a call of an armed person in the parking lot of the St. Pete auto auction. According to a preliminary investigation by Largo police, something happened at that auction that a woman could be facing burglary charges for. They say that woman brandished a handgun and took off on foot. Officers say they found her walking at the intersection of 49th Street and Roosevelt Boulevard when she began firing at their cruisers. They say the woman proceeded walking southbound on the frontage road towards a wastewater treatment plant. Officers continued following her, and shortly after, she began shooting at them again. Several officers fired back and injured her. Police say the woman was transported to Northside Hospital. Her condition is unknown. No officers were injured in this shooting. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating. So right now it's a very active criminal investigation. Now I'm reading a update from Largo Police. Again, they're saying that police returned fire striking her and she was given first aid here at the scene and then was transported to Northside Hospital, but she did pass away of her wounds today. Again, police still actively investigating on scene here and stay with eight on your side for the latest. Back to you. Christine, uh, we know what happened with her and the, we, we know no officers were injured, but with so much traffic in that area, was anyone else injured? Shockingly, no. Police say they're very surprised that no officers or other people were injured because this is such a high traffic area. We'll have more details about that coming up at five. All right, Christine McClarty, live for us in Largo. Thank you.